All right, guys, let's see what we have here. Okay, one thing I don't like is our D. We're D. We're shooting here at the point, and our D gets closer. Now you got to remember, in this drill you don't, but here soon we're going to have a guy out here who's trying to block a shot. And the closer you get to him, the easier it is for him to block the shot. That's why we call it walking the blue, because you can stay out at the blue and still get a good shot. Now, so you can see how, look how close you get. And this is no good here. The puck goes to your backhand. At this moment, if anyone's trying to block a shot or defend you, they're going to jump on you now. You can't pass. You can't, I mean right here, in case you weren't paying attention. You can't pass. You can't shoot. You can't do anything. Try to keep it on your forehand, if possible. Uh, this is good down here. Let's look at the screen. This is good. The goalie is definitely leaning. Stick is in the middle. I like it. It's a good screen. Alright, so we're going to get a shot. Back to the side. See, in this here, is all, <coughs> this is another thing, too, that we are doing as a D. <coughs> we're shooting off the wrong feet. Look at this. If these hips get flipped over and uh, you're able to shift your weight, because you can see you're shooting off one foot, all your weight's on one foot, and you can even look at the shot. Shot kind of goes up and then down because you don't have enough power on it because you're shooting off the wrong foot. That being said, it's the right way, right place. The goalie is going to have to turn and look. Good tip back inside. There's a rebound. And he got it covered quickly. Oh no, there it is. There's the rebound. So we're good. Look at, look at Anderson here after you shoot this. After you shoot this, see how low you're getting? You're in the slot. We'd want you top of the circles, a little bit higher, a little defensive. All right, let's see the one-on-one. -on -one. All right, so now you're in trouble with your gap, but you're hustling back up the middle, so that's good. Good. you got a good gap on him here. Look how tight that is. And you've got him outside. You could even start drifting that direction. You don't want to give him the inside if you can keep your inside shoulder to his outside. Looks like Gavin, I think. He's slowing you up. Oh, here's your lunge again. There's no reason for this. So you decide to just go after him. You can keep skating backwards and angle him off into the boards. But right here you decide, nope, enough is enough, and I'm going to go at him. And now the forward has the advantage because <clears throat> you're lunging at him. You're, you decided to go get him. And, yep, he just bounces off you. God. See, if you are skating backwards, you can angle him off. But you can see here, he picks up his speed right here. You think you have him, but he's going slow, and he picks up his speed, two quick steps, and now you're in trouble, and Gavin is by you. See how he pushed the puck? I talked about this earlier with, uh, with Wesley. He's attacked the triangle here and engaged. He just pushes the puck and engages this guy to push by him. And you hit too high, Anderson. Look at you. You're hitting like a football player. You're hitting way up here. And, uh, and Gavin is even, you can see Gavin's gotten lower than you if you really look in here. <clears throat> this is Anderson's head, this is Gavin's head. Gavin got lower, and that's why you bounce off of him, and he can bounce by you. Let's see the move. I don't know why my goalie's already down. That's not good. And he's deep in his net, but, hmm. Oh, just brutal. whole thing was brutal. All right. Well, that's some more 101. 